Yo, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to talk about Joshua Primo. And before we start today's video, I want to hear those lovely opinions down below in the comment section. Where do you think he'll be drafted and how good will he be? Like and subscribe to help the channel. He's 18 years old. He'll be 19 December 24th, Christmas Eve. He's six foot five from Toronto, Ontario. And he's 190 pounds. He averaged 8.1 points, three and a half rebounds, under assist a game, one and a half turnovers, about half a block, a little over half a steal game, 43.1% from the field, 38.1% from three, and 75% from the field. He's got great size for the guard swingman position, which is a guard and a wing. He can play both positions, six foot five, about six foot six with a six foot nine wingspan and huge hands. And NBA teams are looking for a big secondary ball handler when they look at him. He's a fluid athlete. And his key skill here is he's a very good shooter with great smooth mechanics that will translate to a high level shot making by the time he's in his early 20s. Hit 44.2% of his shots from off the catch, okay? And Primo's gonna be a high level score, like shooter, not score. And he showed some Euro step game. So I think it was decent. Look, one thing is, is I think he's a pretty good rotational defender. He's always engaged in the play, moves around the court well, navigates across well, reacts in terms of what he sees on the court and knows where to be positionally wise. And there are some issues on the ball right now for his team defense. He shouldn't be a negative, not quite Tylee's Halliburton on the turn, like in terms of positive, positive reactivity on the end and disrupt, like disruptivity. But he should be able to play within a scheme reasonably. Now, I think there when you look at him another thing is he's got creative ways of finding his teammates even some live dribble passing stuff and he has a good floater and sm smooth little thing the idea if you get primo is awesome he's a high upside player in a year where you probably get him late in the draft and he's probably a year or two away from playing the nba and he would be a lottery pick next year if he went back but he's going so i'd take him in the late first round he's not going to go to the second and the thing with him is he had such a strong pre-draft process away from Alabama that he has a real shot of becoming a value player in the NBA today. These kind of prospects are worth betting on. He's a guy who can space the floor and potentially attack off the bounce and make decisions quickly. Primo has shown enough at a lower level to where there's upside potential in his handle. It's clear that the jumper is going to be a, a weapon. I wouldn't be totally opposed of a year in the G League even if he's taken in round one, but the team that takes him needs to be willing to put in the time and expect him not to contribute until 2023 when they're ready to reap the real rewards from taking Primo. And on the downside, if the wrong team takes him, it could end poorly. But in the right spot, Primo has a chance of becoming a very effective NBA player who fits the needs of every NBA team. So yeah, let me hear your thoughts down below, guys. Peace out.